Hey there, so in this lesson I'm going to show you how to install Postgres in Windows. So just type in Postgres onto Google and we'll go to their site. Click on the download section here and you want to go to Windows. So click there. And next you want to click on this download link. This will help us download uh, the, the software that will help us install the actual database onto this computer. So let's click the download here. And since this is actually a 64-bit machine, uh, I'm going to pick this option here, Win x86-64. So click on that. And now it'll start downloading uh, the executable that we'll need to install uh, Postgres onto this Windows machine. Okay, so once your file is done downloading, you can double click it here. I saved my file into downloads. Uh, so depending on where you downloaded it, go to that place in your computer and double click the file here. It's just an executable and this will uh, start the Postgres database installation process. And from here on, it should be pretty much smooth sailing. It'll install a couple of things on your machine. Just follow along and you should be just fine. Okay, so this is the setup wizard for installing the database. Hit next here. It's going to ask you where you want to install the application. I'll leave it as default right in the program files and hit next. All right, click next. Now we need to enter a password for uh, this database. Uh, notice it's saying please provide a password for the database super user and that is uh, you know Postgres that's the username. Uh, so the password that I'm going to pick here is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D password. All right, I'm going to make it really simple since we're in a local environment uh, we don't really have any security risks. So hit next and this is an important part. Notice that it's going to use this port number 5432. Okay, So this is the port number that the server will run on. Hit next. Uh, leave that as default. Continue. And now it's actually installing the application onto our machine. Alright, so we're almost done here. I pretty much paused the video while that was going on. It took me about uh, four to five minutes to install it. It may be faster or slower for you depending on your machine. So now we're done. Let's hit finish. And this is sort of a, a utility to install other software. We don't need to go through this process. So you could just exit out of here. We don't need to use the stack builder. So let's close this and if you go to your start menu now under all programs you should see the Postgres installation. And here it is. So click on that, go to PG Admin 3. This is the tool that we're going to be using uh, to connect to our database. Okay. And there are two servers that are installed here. Just remember, remember the port number that um, it showed earlier. It was 5432. So just double click that and remember the password we had set, which was just simply password. So here I am logging in. All right, so you're all ready to go. You're, you've successfully installed Postgres as well as the PG Admin tool uh, through that link that I showed you earlier, okay? Now the rest of the course, I'm gonna be using the Mac because I'm more comfortable with that, but it's exactly the same software and the same commands. Uh, it doesn't matter which operating system you're using, as long as you have the same software, uh, you should be fine and you should be able to follow along regardless of what operating system you're using right because essentially the application is the same the pg admin 3 and the database is the same postgres all right so there's one more thing left to do in here uh, expand this uh, database section uh, this is the user remember we created the user well the system created for us called postgres and the password we used to log into this was called password right so expand this user, right? Uh, inside of this user, 
uh, or it's also referred to as a database, um, there is a schemas section. Expand that. And it comes with one schema by default. And we need to create another schema uh, for our course. And schema is just a complicated term. It really is a very simple concept. It's basically an area uh, or a workspace uh, that contains a collection of tables. Okay, So our, all of our tables that we're going to be creating in this course are going to reside in the schema that we're going to make. And don't worry if that doesn't make any sense right now. Um, I'll be clearing that up pretty soon. So what we need to do is right click here and go to new schema and call this course schema. All right? And hit okay. 